Your time right now, 447. Rich Marriott here for another or with another look at your forecast. You know, Rich, I was at the game Sunday when the drone incident happened and it yeah. was very confusing. People in the stands were thinking, oh, it must be a quick timeout break. But as we see, it was something that could have been yeah. much more serious. Well, it was it actually it really was when they said it's you know, clearing it because of a security alert. I mean, you think of even worse than that. So. But yeah, it's nothing to mess with. I know that uh, they've taken measures at some airports in France. They actually have these drone catchers, which are basically two other drones with a net between them. Oh. And they scoop them up. So would have been an interesting, interesting sight times. to yes, see. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, moving, moving on to weather. I was digressing. We do have actually another really nice day headed away. Not quite as warm as yesterday. We had 82 out at SeaTac. Set the record for the date. Uh, I think today's record's in the high 80s. We're not going to be anywhere near. Well, we'll be 10 degrees below that, but just close enough. Take a look out. Uh, Bellingham Tower Cam showing pretty much a quiet morning and clear skies. Most places this morning, though, we do have a few low clouds creeping in across southwestern Washington and into the uh, south sound. Everett and Tacoma both very quiet as well. There is some wildfire smoke out there. I actually smell some of that on my drive in this morning around Seattle. Temperatures right now running mostly in the 50s, a pretty mild morning overall. Checking our air quality, which uh, right now it's good most places uh, for today, good most places, but again, near the Cascade foothills and the west side of Puget Sound, going to be looking for that to just still be in the moderate range through much of the day today because we still have a little bit of offshore flow. However, it will be shifting to onshore winds as we head towards later on today, and that's going to bring in some clean Pacific air. And as we head towards tomorrow, we're going to be looking for good air quality everywhere on the west side of the Cascades. Take a look at uh, the satellite image. You can see those low clouds that crept in uh, this morning there over southwestern Washington and a weak front off the front coast, which is headed our way as we head into tomorrow. Checking our uh, rainfall out of it. This one actually is going to wet things down a little bit. Not a whole lot. You see only a few hundreds of an inch most spots in the morning, but the afternoon we're going to pick up oh, a little over a tenth of an inch in quite a few places, even more over there towards the Hood Canal and the Kitsap Peninsula. So we'll be wetting things down, but then we'll be drying right back out again and warming up for the weekend. So today, Hazy sunshine temperatures anywhere from the uh, low to mid 70s to the north to the mid to upper 70s in the central sound. As we head towards uh, tomorrow, look for those showers around mid 60s for the highs. Just a couple leftover showers dry for most spots on Thursday and temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Sunshine around 70 Friday and then the weekend mid 70s Saturday, mid to upper 70s on Sunday and still holding in the mid 70s as we start off the work week next week as summer makes yet another encore.